All right, my lions and lionesses, Aaron Michael Eschenberg here, Honest Dame, bringing you some honest astrology for the Leos of February 2020. This is your monthly horoscope, all right? So what is going on? We've got a Mercury retrograde beginning, okay, moving out of Aquarius into the sign of Pisces. That's going to happen on the 2nd. On the set, not the retrograde, Mercury begins its shadow period on February 2nd. Okay, so let me show you the chart real quick to show you what's going on. We've got Mercury here, our planet of communication and information in your seventh house right now. Okay, so this is your, your placement of relationships with others. You know, romantic, business partners, all kinds of relationships. Okay, so committed relationships here in the sign of Aquarius. You see a futuristic way of thinking about or feeling uh, your relationships. Okay, we got the sun still there till the 19th, but Mercury is going to move to 28 degrees on the 2nd, okay? And begins its shadow period from the 28th degree on the 2nd all the way till February 17th when it hits just about 13 degrees, okay? So on the 17th, Mercury begins its retrograde cycle, moving all the way back out of your 8th house, back into your 7th house, okay? Uh, and that's going to happen from... Uh, February 17th until March 10th, okay? So when we have Mercury moving through the shadow, again, it's going to start on the 2nd, move forward, 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 all the way to the 17th, and then back, 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 March 10th, ending at 28 degrees of Aquarius again, okay? So we're moving our planet of information, communication, shared resources, uh, how we trade our goods with other people. Okay, Mercury moving out of your seventh house, out of the relationship zone into shared resources. Okay, what is mine? What is yours? How can we connect together to create something bigger than selves? How can we create together to create something more than just what I have? Do we join bank accounts? Do we join homes? Do we join business, you know, business propositions? Okay, so you're going to be doing a lot of thinking forward momentum. And again, all planets are direct right now. Let me show you that again. So look, all planets, there is nothing retrograde right now. All planets are direct. Mercury, or planet of communication, is the very first planet this year that's going to begin its retrograde cycle. Okay. So there's still a lot of forward momentum all the way to the 17th. So we've got a little bit more than two weeks into the first, or until this, you know, to the second month of the year. Uh, before we're going to start to really feel this. Okay. Now I do do daily horoscopes, Okay, and I talk more about the Mercury retrograde and each individual aspects of what's going on planetarily wise in those dailies. So stay tuned for those. I'll talk more about what this retrograde means. Uh, so this is just for you, Leos. So again, we're going out of your eighth house or out of your seventh house into your eighth house, out of relationships into shared resources. And then we're going to be reviewing and rethinking, you know, our commitments and, and how we're how we're connecting with other people. Okay. And back into your relationship sector. And then it's going to move through that shadow period again. So what this is saying is from the 2nd till the 17th to start paying attention to what's going on because those lessons are going to be learned. That'll be the first time from the 2nd to the 17th. Then from the 17th all the way to March 10th is the second relearning. Then from the 10th on, it's like the third and final, you know, the resolution of learning whatever information needs to come our way, right? Then on February 7th, Venus which is right now in your eighth house of shared resources, just had this beautiful connection with Neptune up in Pisces, Venus is going to leave the sign of Pisces and enter your ninth house, which is about travel, which is about education, right? Philosophies, higher learning. And on the third, it's going to conjunct Chiron here, the wounded healer. You know, so what information is out there? You know, it's just like there's information that's worth seeking out. There's information that's worth checking into that can heal old wounds, you know? So it's, you know, you can, in a sense, play psychiatrist, if, if you will, uh, you know, and it's just like we can seek out that information that the other is going to give to us, okay? Very powerful as Venus only connects there once every about year and a half, all right? Then on the 9th, okay, we have a full moon in your sign. Okay, so we got the sun in Aquarius in the seventh house for you. Okay, so we're shining our light on partnerships. We're, we're shining the light on the other, right? And then the moon is about emotional needs, emotional needs back home in your first house of Leo. Okay, so this is finding balance for my Leo friends out there. Okay, because the sun is in your opposition. 
Okay, sun being in your opposition, you know, it's just like if you're the Leo, you know, uh, you're the star of the show. You are the star of the show of the zodiac. You are the hearth that keeps on burning. You are the fire that stays lit. You are the sun, a representation of the sun. Okay, this beautiful burning ball of light in the sky that keeps us all alive. If it weren't for the sun, the moon would have nothing to reflect, right? And we would cease to live. Humanity would cease to live here on this planet. So it's just like you shining your eternal light gives a lot. Okay. So in the sign of Aquarius, the opposite sign of Leo, instead of being about self, it's looking at the other. It's looking at everyone else. And it's, instead of being the star of the show, it's playing the director of the show right? You're the director, you're the coach, you're the captain, you know, and you have to maneuver and find ways to delegate in life, okay? So this full moon in your sign is going to highlight the balance, kind of like a Libra, you know, we're balancing my emotional needs with also giving my light to you, right? It's not just about me, it's about you as well. So we're finding that balance between what's good for me, what's good for you, how can we both maneuver on this? You know, are there two directors on the show or is there just one? Is there two stars of the show or is there just one? You know, where we have to find this place of coming together. So this is a really unique uh, opportunity for the Leos this time of year, right? Then on the 16th, very exciting. Mars enters the sign of Capricorn. Mars is exalted in Capricorn. Okay. Mars is our planet of action. Okay. Action and passion. Okay. So it's like what Venus loves and wants and desires. Moving into your ninth house, Venus wants, loves, and desires new information. Okay. Taking a spiritual path, taking the high road here. Okay. And it's in the sign, it's moving into the sign of Aries, which is about initiation. Okay, so you're taking the initiative to seek out that information, which is really beautiful. So Mars is gonna gonna give you a further boost. Okay, and Mars, this is in your sixth house, so you have a lot of energy here in your sixth house, which is about how you're giving back to the world, how you're giving back to the community. Okay, so Mars entering your sixth house is saying like, look, I have all of these talents. You know, I am the, the fire of the zodiac. I am the star of the show, and I'm the director, too. I, I've got it all, man. <laughs> okay, so Mars moving into your sixth house is saying, okay, well, I've got all these talents. I don't need somebody else to tell me that I'm talented, to show me my beauty, to show me my worth, in order for me to shine my light and bring my light to other people. Okay, so you're going to have Mars in your sixth house, how we giving, how we're giving back to others, Jupiter in your sixth house, expanding the ways that you're giving back, Pluto in your sixth house, transforming the ways that you're giving back, and Saturn is still there in Capricorn, okay, and Saturn is home in Capricorn here, and this is saying what? This is telling us you are committed, okay, you are committed to creating this change in your life, you are committed to bringing this change to other people, and when Mars hits this place exalted in the zodiac, it only hits once every two years, you know, this is full steam ahead for you, and, and, and how you're giving your talents back to this world, okay. Then on the 19th, the sun is going to move out of the sign of Aquarius into the sign of Pisces. Again, so we're moving out of your relationship zone into the place of shared resources, you know, and deep rooted passions as well, you know, the eighth house. Okay, so again, it's just like, well, well, what am I passionately great at? What are you passionately great at? We can join together and create this uber team, this, this epic duo, or this epic entourage, you know, we can create something great. All right, and being in the sign of Pisces, this is about a, a connection with spirituality. Okay, so there's a, there's a way to connecting with the higher source, tapping into our own creativity. All right, then on the 23rd, the moon's going to meet up and have a new moon, new beginning in your eighth house. Again, highlighting how you are connecting and working with other people, how you are uh, coming together to be unified in the sign of Pisces, unified in the eighth house, in whatever it is that you're working so hard to give back, your beautiful light that you're giving back to the world, and meeting the right people as well that are going to help bring you to the next plateau. Very, very, very exciting. As well, you've got Uranus, okay? Uranus is going to be in your 10th house for a long time, another six and a half years or so. Uh, so Uranus is this great change. So wherever you're feeling stuck 
in life, wherever you're feeling stuck in your career or your public image, okay, you're getting a good boost of, of change, okay? And when Mars jumps in here on the 16th, it's going to really begin to create this trine, this beautiful trine, earth sign to earth sign, where our planet of action in your sixth house, again, of giving, uh, of being of service to the community, of being service to the world, letting you be the lighthouse that brings the ships home, connecting with your 10th house, your career, public image, and Uranus breakthrough, the great awakener, which is gonna, gonna have amazing opportunities over the next several years to follow. You know, so wherever you're stuck, my Leo friends, wherever you're feeling stuck right now in your career, get ready for some very big shifts, some great forward momentum, right? Again, that Mars aspect in your sixth house creating the trine over there to Uranus is going to be a huge, huge opportunity this year, okay? And that's going to sustain because Uranus is this this wrecking ball that's just like, I'm coming in. I'm creating this change. I'm going to create, you know, I'm going to be the, the boss, right? The boss Leo that I am. I'm going to be the boss and I'm going to be able to do it with care. And I'm going to be able to do it with love and compassion. You've got the North Node there in Cancer reminding us to be nurturing and empathetic to other people. And that's in your 12th house right now. 12th house is about completion and a deeper understanding that you're going to be able to get internally that you're going to be able to reflect that light. Again, that's what the moon does. The moon reflects that light. So the north node in the sign of Cancer is reflecting that caring and nurturing um, aspects of yourself back to the world and not being cold, brash, closed off, you know, not being the boss that we've seen in the past, but being a brand new kind of a leader right? And you, again, are the heart of the zodiac. You are the fire that keeps on burning, and you are the leaders of the zodiac, you know, Leo and Capricorn. <laughs> All right, leaders. So be, be prepared for some great changes coming your way this month. A huge amount of opportunity is coming for you in the way that you are giving your services back to other people and how that's going to affect your career and how that's going to affect your community of who is who you are working with and how much great you can do when you join forces with others. Again, check out the dailies. We're going to dive deeper into these aspects. Uh, have an amazing February. So much beautiful changes coming your way. We'll see you tomorrow.